In this lesson, we are working on derivative of trigonometric functions. Using the fact that limit of sine of h over h as h approaches 0 is 1, we can prove limit of sine of x plus h minus sine of x over h as h approaches 0 is cosine of x and limit of cosine of x plus h minus cosine of x over h as h approaches 0 is negative sine of x. To prove this, we use compound angle formula. We expand sine of x plus h in the first limit and cosine of x plus h in the second limit. And we use the fact that limit of c times f of x when c is a constant as x approaches a is c limit of f of x as x approaches a and limit of sine of h over h as h approaches 0 equals 1, we have the other side. This means derivative of function f of x equals sine of x is f prime of x equals cosine of x and derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. Since tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x, derivative of tangent of x is derivative of numerator times denominator itself minus derivative of denominator times numerator itself divided by denominator to the power of 2, quotient rule which gives us derivative of tangent of x equals 1 over cosine squared of x or secant squared of x. By applying chain rule, derivative of f of g of x equals g prime of x times f prime of g of x we can say derivative of sine of f of x is f prime of x cosine of f of x. Derivative of cosine of f of x is minus f prime of x times sine of x. And derivative of tan of f of x equals f prime of x times secant squared of f of x. Let's have a couple of examples. Our first example, find the derivative of sine of 2x plus cosine of 3x. Derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine of 2x. f of x is 2x, sine of f of x is f prime of x, 2 times cosine of f of x. Derivative of cosine of 3x is minus 3 sine of 3x. Derivative of 3x is 3. Derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. Therefore, derivative of cosine of 3x is negative 3 sine of 3x. Let's find derivative of x2 sine of 5x. We use product rule. Derivative of first function is 2x, first and second function times sine of 5x plus derivative of second function 5 cosine of 5x times x2. Derivative of e to the power of sine of x. Derivative of e to the power of f of x is f prime of x times e to the power of f of x. Therefore, derivative of e to the power of sine of x is cosine of x, f of x is sine of x, derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, times e to the power of sine of x. Let's write the equation of the tangent line to the graph of 
pi equals 2 sine of x plus 1 when x is pi over 6. Then you plug pi over 6 into the function. Since sine of pi over 6 is 1 over 2, the y value would be 2 times 1 over 2 plus 1, which is 2. The derivative of the function is 2 cosine of x. The slope of the tangent line is the value of derivative when x is pi over 6, 2 cosine of pi over 6. Cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. Therefore, slope is square root of 3. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is the equation of the line passing through a point whose slope is m. This can be written as y equals root 3x plus pi over 6 times root 3 plus 2. By applying the quotient rule, we can see derivative of secant of f of x is f prime of x secant of f of x tangent of x. Derivative of cotangent of f of x is minus f prime of x cosecant squared of f of x. And derivative of cosecant of f of x is minus f prime of x cosecant of f of x cotangent of f of x. Need to correct here, tangent of f of x. So, derivative of secant of 5ex plus line of x would be f prime of x. Derivative of 5ex is 5ex. Derivative of line of x is 1 over x secant of f of x tangent of f of x thanks for watching